Hey guys, we're off here from the Endgame Investment. Today we're going to talk about Deutsche Bank. This bank has the highest exposure to the treasury market of pretty much any bank in the world. And this was back in 2016. And now that interest rates are starting to rise, its portfolio of derivatives based on that treasury portfolio is on the verge of collapse. And there is something special very special about Deutsche Bank that you should all know. Since I began the Endgame Investor back in 2020, I've always suspected that the Euro banking system would fall before the US banking system fell because the Euro banking system is taken hostage by the pigs, which is Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Greece, and Spain, primarily Greece and Italy. These countries are so heavily indebted, they cannot afford interest rates that are positive in any sense. And if any one of those countries falls, the Eurozone falls with it. And so the ECB cannot tighten even one bit without risking a sovereign debt collapse, which has flared up twice. And the next time it flares up will be the last time. Here, my friends, is the Euro to the US dollar. It is now at $1.05 per euro. The all-time low was hit here on January, sorry, December 19th, 2016 at $1.3.5. And and if this line is taken out, you could have a euro sell-off that would defy any euro sell-off that has ever happened in history. And you could see the end of the euro itself with the concurrent explosion of the final round of the European sovereign debt crisis, which has not been solved at all. You'll see that all of the debts of the heavily indebted European countries are much higher than they ever have been. And the whole 2020 situation has made it much worse. And at the head of this problem is Deutsche Bank, which is loaded with all of this debt and let's go into what is happening with Deutsche Bank and what has happened since 2007. Here is Deutsche Bank since 2007. You can see here where it says H, the high was in May 7th, 2007, just before the financial crisis of 2008 at 121.12. Now, the low was just below $5. I think it was like $4.97 or something over here. And since then, it has recovered since the money printing of 2020 began to 988. And that itself happens to be the 200 week moving average. We can see here that back in early 2022, just a month or two ago, it hit a very long-term trend line and was not able to break through it. This trend line has been in place since the highs of 2007 and it has failed to regain that and now it has broken through the 200 week moving average again the last time that this stock that this bank broke through the 200 week moving average to the downside was 2014 last time it broke through the 200 week moving average being 2014 it has taken about eight years for that trend line to be tested once again over here seven years actually it broke through in 2021 it was able to get back above it, to retest this trend line established back in 2014, and it has failed, and now it is going back down again. If Europe is in the middle of the next round of the European sovereign debt crisis, we should see this in the Euro, and we should see it reflected in Deutsche Bank. Now, here is the secret about Deutsche Bank that most people do not know. What is Deutsche Bank? Listen up. Anschluss into Nazi Germany. That was when the Nazis annexed Austria into the Nazi empire. That was in 1938. Following the Austrian Anschluss to Nazi Germany in 1938, Credit Anstalt, Bank of Verein, was targeted for both financial and racial reasons. Louis de Rothschild was immediately arrested, who was the CEO of the bank, and imprisoned for the losses suffered by the Austrian state when the bank collapsed. Deprived of his position and property, he was released upon payment of $21 million. This was back in 1938 believed to have been the largest bail bond in history for any individual. As many people know, and which is pretty obvious, Louis de Rothschild was a Jew. He was thereby able to escape the Holocaust by leaving in 1939 and escaping Nazi Germany just before the concentration camps started to get fired up. 
Credit Anstalt Bank Verein was later taken over by Deutsche Bank, patronized by Hermann Joseph Abs, though CEO Joseph Johann made contact with the Office of Strategic Services, Credit Einstein also settled the financial issues of several Nazi concentration camps. Isn't that great? As well as the organization of Jewish-owned businesses. So what is Deutsche Bank? Deutsche Bank was the bank of the Nazis. It took over Credit Anstalt, which is a bank that failed in 1931, which triggered the spread of the Great Depression from the United States into Europe. The collapse of Credit Anstalt in 1931 destroyed the European banking system, bringing on the depression there, and eventually the leftovers of Credit Anstalt Bank was absorbed by Deutsche Bank after it was Aryanized and all the Jews on that bank were murdered. Let's go a little bit more into the history of Deutsche Bank and what it is doing now. This is an article written by Alistair McLeod about three weeks after the repocalypse when repo rates jumped to about 10%, which is the overnight rate for collateralized loans collateralized by treasuries, when those rates jumped to 10% on September 17th, 2019, Alistair McLeod of Gold Money writes. I'm not even sure here if he is aware that Deutsche Bank is Credit Anstalt Bank reincarnated because if he had known that he would have mentioned it here. But he writes anyway, returning to the subject of bank relationships, a more worrying comparison between Deutsche Bank and the Northern Rock episode could be with Credit Anstalt crisis of May 1931. Remember Credit Anstalt, that is the bank that failed, that spread the Great Depression into the European continent. It was the largest bank in Austria, just as Deutsch is the largest in Germany, a far larger country with a more important economy. Then in Austria and today in Germany, European economies were tipping into recession, forcing large losses onto their banks. Following the 1931 crisis, within months, not only Austria, but other European countries endured financial distress. The gold exchange standard began to disintegrate and the international flow of goods was disrupted by pro growing protectionism as governments tried to batten down the hatches. Let's take a look at the Deutsche Bank derivative portfolio. And this was back in 2016 and the situation has gotten worse today. This is an article from back in 2016 by the Wall Street Journal, Understanding Deutsche Bank's $47 trillion derivatives book. $47 million! Size of figure can be misleading, but some of those assets are hard to value, stoking concern among investors. In its 2015 annual report, Deutsche Bank said its exposure to derivatives was 41.9 trillion euros, or 46.994 trillion dollars. As a comparison, Germany's gross domestic product was 3.032 trillion back in 2015. Most of the derivatives Deutsche Bank is exposed to aren't overly complex. About 78% of its derivatives exposure allows people to hedge the risks of movements in interest rates. And now what market is under the most stress right now? It is interest rates, it is sovereign bonds. We've seen interest rates jump like never before. And we're even seeing mainstream economic outlets, financial outlets like Yahoo say that now is do or die for the bond market. For example, April 30th, 2022, bond traders face week that threatens to shatter any market calm. And so Deutsche Bank is Credit Anstalt reincarnated, which was Aryanized in 1939 by the Nazis and all the Jews on it murdered. I cannot think of a better bank to lead the world into the destruction of fiat currencies and the reintroduction of real liberty-based free market money. I couldn't imagine a better fate than a long and lustrous winter. And Credit Anstalt slash Deutsche slash Third Reich Nazi Bank that looks to be on the verge of liquidation. See how feeders into your Nazi boss. This is Rafi, the Endgame Investor. If you enjoyed this video, you can follow along at the Endgame Investor for my daily market commentary by clicking the link in the description below. Or you can become my patron on Patreon, where you will get a weekly biblical commentary on monetary and economic topics. If that is your thing for as little as $3 a month. May Nazi banks of the past get liquidated, and this time for good.